Hello everyone, in this video we are given this interesting equation and we are to find the values of x. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. First of all, let's multiply this x over here by this factor. So we're going to have x times x plus 9. Then we will multiply this factor by this one as well. So we will have x plus 1 times x plus 8 and this is equal to 84. So from this first parenthesis we're going to have x squared plus 9x times then from here we will use the FOIA method to multiply this one so we're going to have x to the second power plus 8x then we will also distribute this one using the FOIA method. So we're going to have plus x plus 8. And this is equal to 84. So I will keep the first factor. We have x to the second power plus 9x times. Here we have x to the second power. 8x plus x, that is 9x, then plus 8. And this is equal to... 84. How can we solve this equation? Let's go ahead and then let m equal to x to the second power plus 9x. So the whole of this factor becomes m. Then from here we see that we have x squared plus 9x. So this one also becomes m, then plus 8. So from here we have m times m plus 8 is equal to 84. And now the equation has become very, very simple to solve. So let's distribute this m. We have m to the second power plus 8m. Then we will bring this 84 to the left. So we're going to have minus 84 is equal to 0. Quadratic equation. How do we solve this? Let's go ahead and then find two factors that when we multiply them, you'll be getting negative 84. And then when we sum them up, you'll be getting positive 8. And the factors are negative 6 and then positive 14. So this quadratic equation now becomes m to the second power minus 6m plus 14m minus 84 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can take m out. So we're going to have m times m minus 6. Then from these two terms, we can take positive 14 out. And we are left with m minus 6. And this is equal to 0. Now we have m minus 6. And then we have the exact same thing here. Let's take it out. We have m minus 6 times. From here, we are left with m plus this side we are left with. 14 and this is equal to 0. Product of two factors is equal to 0. We can say that the first factor which is m minus 6 is equal to 0 or m plus 14 is 0. If we add 6 to each side of this first equation we have m to be 6 or if we subtract 14 from this equation we have m to be negative 14. But remember, we let m equal to something. From here, m is equal to x to the second power plus 9x. So when m is equal to 6, we have x to the second power plus 9x is equal to 6. We also have a quadratic equation here. We will equate everything to 0. So we have x squared plus 9x minus 6 is equal to 0. Let's go ahead and then discriminate this equation, whether it is having real root or not. We have delta to be b to the second power minus 4ac. b is the coefficient of x, which is 9, and then a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, and then c is the constant being negative 6. So we have delta is equal to 9 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 6. So delta is equal to 81, negative 4 times negative 6, that is positive 
24. So delta is equal to 105. Since this is positive, it means the quadratic equation here has real root. So let's go ahead and then use the quadratic formula to solve. And I believe you remember the quadratic formula. That is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of delta divided by 2 times a. So we would have x is equal to minus 9 plus or minus square root of 105 divided by 2 times a, which is still 2. So we have two solutions for x. That is either x is equal to negative 9 plus square root of 105 divided by 2 or x is equal to negative 9 minus square root of 105 or divided by 2. So these are the first two solutions to the problem and they all satisfy the equation. Now let's go ahead and then solve for the value of x when m is equal to negative 14. When m is equal to negative 14, we have x to the second power plus 9x is equal to negative 14. Let's equate everything to 0 since this is a quadratic equation. So we're going to have plus 14 is equal to 0. We will look for two values that when we multiply them, you'll be getting positive 14. But when we sum them up, you'll be getting positive 9. And the factors are 2 and then 7. So the equation now becomes x to the second power plus 2x plus 7x plus 14 is equal to 0. So from here, we will take x out. We have x times x plus 2. Then from these two terms, we will take 7 out. So we're going to have 7 times x plus 2. And this is equal to 0. We have x plus 2. We have x plus 2 here. So let's take it out. Then we're going to have x plus 7. And this is 0. So at this point, we can say that x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 7 is 0. If you subtract 2 from each side of this equation, we have x to be minus 2. Or if you subtract 7 from this equation, we have x to be minus 7. And these are the other two solutions to the problem. And they all satisfy the equation. You can go ahead and then test on that. But trust me, they all satisfy the equation. Subscribe to my channel for more videos if you found this video useful. Like the video, comment, and share. Check these two videos out. They are very interesting problems. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.